Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee. Tonight I'm going to carve a name cell for Phone Hua. Um, I wish I would pronounce it uh, correctly. Um, it's a, uh, an artist name cell for um, a lady in my online class, a new student. Um, she does some beautiful Sumie painting from start and uh, to complete your painting, you need to learn how to uh, sign your name in Chinese and uh, have a red stamp. Uh, so let me show Feng Feng Hua uh, how to write your Chinese name. Um, we translate that into Chinese as a mountain lily or lily on mountain. Um, so let me write this here in script. Mountain. Shan. Bai. Bai. He. Lily. Bai He is a kind of flower. Um, lily. The mountain. Um, we usually put the mountain in, in, in front. We, uh, if you say Lily and mountain behind, it will be uh, Lily Mountain, which is uh, describing the, the mountain, not the Lily on the mountain. So it might be different. Um, in your, your language. Anyway, <coughs> the Chinese uh, mountain lily. And uh, on seal, we uh, write from uh, right to left, and then put from top down. It goes like circle here. I added uh, a third, uh, I mean a fourth character. Um, it says a seal. So you, it reads like a circle. There's a fourth character in. You don't have to write this, but I will show uh, Lily how to sign your name uh, in in Chinese. Um, so roughly, you you write your name uh, a little bit bigger than the seal, so not too big. Okay, it could be a little bit bigger. So you can write in. Script, um, sorry, or in uh, cursive style, cursive style. So you just combine um, strokes. You can you can omit to one like right here. You can just um, and you can even combine between characters. Okay, let me if I, I write faster. Um, and you can vary the thickness. This character can also be further simplified, um, like, uh, like that, or more cursive. He means close, Bai means uh, 100. So uh, it refers to that kind of um, root, you know with a lot of uh, uh, little uh, layers, by like hundreds of little petals. Um, let me write again. If you can see from the top of my hand. So I start from the center, then left with a, a 
check mark kind of uh, stroke, then close it. Shan is mountain. Bay is start from the top, one, one dash, and one slant, the short stroke immediately connect to a, a bar. And then this this part is a uh, bent stroke, and then two short dashes. This is a difficult one. This two stroke could take me months when I was trying to learn. I still have trouble with it, I think. So <coughs> this is triangular shape. It's like an A. It could be a little small, the angle could be more um, down. And this is like an A, and then this is like an O, right? But it's square. Uh, notice if you write good Chinese, all the space in uh, between the strokes should be relatively even. You know, the, the space between strokes referring to this this these little uh, areas between strokes like here I got a, a too a bit, maybe a little too narrow on the left um, so if you keep this in mind you will write very good Chinese characters just try to divide all the space um, like a here 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 equal and this one is a little bit tricky, but it's about 45 angle, and then this space about the same as uh, the other space. And then this, if I make a um, mistake, I would, you know, I will make like an extremely uh, long center. That could be a style. If you like, this is your signature. You can you can you can break that rule, and make it uneven, just to see what happens. And you can make very long horizontal, a very small center, and uh, very um, exaggerated top of this, and then small. So keep this centered, you know, along one line. Imagine this. Uh, vertical line will also help. Maybe I missed the. Let me do it again. If you didn't see it, so I try to make some style stylized signature. Just keep the center narrow, and then uh, it doesn't matter the loose part. Um, because the, it didn't form the the negative space like this closed space, so you could be freer. But uh, when you have a, uh, the same rule, you know, in my design, if you look at that, I try to keep all the um, negative space um, balanced or equal, and I added some decorative parts in mountain and the uh, he, the, the third character just to balance the space, to create some dense and sparse contrast. Let me write uh, uh, the cursive style again. The cursive style could be um, completely different from the uh, standard script. You can write the mountain like that, you know, uh, so that's that's a that's a cursive style mountain in one stroke to go like that and uh, you can do the just like a little circle here that's uh, by the second char character and then you can combine this two and combine all, all strokes so this is cursive style this is a, a cursive style or Shu, the grass style also known as a rainy style. Let me do it again. Now some parts, you know, could be very hair thing, but uh, some uh, 
have to be solid to, to, to be readable. Um, this is a connecting line and the stroke could be different in thickness. Uh, that's um, the rule, I think. But you don't have to have the con connecting line. Like you know, if it happens, you can let it happen. But if you, if the, as long as the idea combine or connect, you don't have. You can have absence of a uh, stroke. Yeah, like like uh, like this, and then like that. All right. So you don't have to co connect all the strokes. Just like painting, idea completes with absence of stroke. Okay, I think that's uh, enough for for the practice. And I will send this page to you as you can, what you do is uh, you can put a rice paper on top of it or some tracing paper and you can practice that if you uh, in the beginning you can use it as a template um, behind the original painting and then just trace it okay I'm going to do this uh, seal next First thing I'm going to do is to transfer the de design to the stone with a, a liquid called the acetone. And I remove the, the wax and also make it a little uh, polished with the sandpaper. The sandpaper also useful if you want to. Uh, Erase the mistake and redo it. That's why I have many uh, design pinouts. Okay. If there's you know animal on top, it should be facing the user. But um, for now, I don't have to consider which side is the uh, the orientation. But the in in the end, I will sign my seal. Uh, on the left side to give you the idea of orientation. Okay, now I use this liquid, it's a nail polish remover called acetone, it's pure acetone remover. Acetone remover. Be careful with the uh, uh, furniture you could ruin the table because it removes paints also. Okay, I just press with my thumb and it will make the transfer. I think it's good to get enough to read. Sometimes I got better, but sometimes if not, um, eligible I can redo it but I think it's okay this time. Um, I'm going to put this on a clamp wheel clamp. This is a professional sport you don't want to but we do have a simple uh, simpler one without the wheel you can use uh, you can buy from the, our website, Gohara Arts, if you like to have your own seal. We have all the tools too. So, we clamp this. Let's see if it's okay. Let me focus it a little bit better. Um, since this is a small seal, um, it wouldn't take too long. And it would be single stroke cut mostly if I don't have to repeat. I'll just cut like writing. Very challenging, but 
No, it's the best way to do it in single single stroke cut. You don't have to cut very deep because the uh, this style is uh, not like that, but we can broaden it if you want. You know, you can repeat a cut like to make it thicker. The joints a little bit of. Uh, and you can broaden a stroke by repeating it. And since I cannot read it, I will use this reference. Okay, just the X. All right. How to go with my cut thing, not what exactly see. Just, you know, the principle is make all the space even, even it divide. Sometimes it's uh, more artistic to make all the space uneven, not the same. More interesting. So I'm trying to do both. Try to balance between the, the you know or symmetrical or non-symmetrical, just between square and the round. Also. Don't go to extremes. You know, some bro some lost and found is interesting. Some um, chipping is needed to make a make it look natural. We call it antiquarianism in art to make it look old, vintage, or antique. Okay. Mount <coughs> the second curve is by I tried to make it a level, but it's kind of a little bit leaned. I tried to correct that. You should wear this kind of rule to make all the dashes level and spacing in them uh, equal. So. It's kind of hard to read my design. For some reason, it's just blurry, very antique look. Huh? I, I just use my reference because they're relatively easy designs. I I've carved it on the on the computer last night.
if you look carefully, my design is not uh, divided into you know four equal squares. They are not equal, but they, they look the same weight or size visually. That's more important than mathematic mathematically uh, equal. So we try to create some uh, red. I don't see this kind of. If you don't, uh, if you if you um, don't know where to start, just do the outer part, the envelope, and then do the what's inside an envelope. That's what I normally do. I hold the <coughs> knife uh, with uh, all my fingers, you know, the thumb and the index finger and the uh, middle finger um, serve to push, and, but the ring finger and the small finger serve to, uh, to provide support or break, so I don't push over. Like uh, if I do it this way, you know, I cannot do. I have to hold the stone with my small fingers. Okay, now the third character is He. There's a roof. Okay, let's start from here. Careful with the corner. Okay, now dash. And uh, here is the trick. I made uh, several curves to fill in the space. So the main functional or is this a square in the bottom? So let me do that first. Okay, just let me extend the top part. The 
feeling in the space. That's a design measure. It could be long or short. It doesn't matter. That this space between within the this the enclosure of the square should be equal to that top part. Okay, that's important to keep in mind. Also, the space between the bars should be equal. <coughs> but in the middle, it's a little narrow, very tight. Okay, we could even omit that, but I think we'll do that as planned. You know, this is already read, readable, but uh, because we want to make this uh, equal to that and equals to this part, also maybe. So we added the a curve on the top, just to make this more interesting. Like a, like a U turn. Okay, a U turn, the two U turns. Because they are decorative parts, so you need to. You need not to emphasize that. They're just decorative. They're just decorative. And this part could be stronger. If you make all stroke equal, then it will be mechanical, <laughs> like a computer font. I don't do that. Try to make it stroke look organic. <coughs> and this is a common character. The last one is in a seal. Do all the hor uh, horizontals at one time, so I don't, I don't want to have to turn the wheel. Uh, this is a professional way to do it, I think. And then do the other verticals like slant. They are all curved. So it's read it from the top. Okay. Read it. Curve. Curve. Bigger ankle there. Down. Bottom. So. Angle is more important than the stroke itself. And space between the strokes are more important. Okay. Over here. 
Input in the bar. You don't want to push over the corners. That okay. I'm going to round up the, the edge and the corners so they look like the, the old T monitor, the very old tube kind of monitor, not the flat screen one. Give a, a final print a soft edge. This is yeah, you can make a the, the margin the edge uh, rounded, so you will not be like a, a cut off. It's more like a relief rubbing. Okay. Do some uh, final tweaking before I make an imprint. Okay, this corner, a little squish, squish. It's really just like a tiny bit of curve makes great difference in the direction of the curve, the flow. No, no straight lines, <laughs> no straight corners. They are rounded up. No sharp uh, points like in, like uh, the knife. The showing of uh, sharp points and make it look like a casted, casted uh, bronze seal. That's my my taste of uh, seal. Rounder than what I designed for, but I think it should be okay. Give it a little more elegant, fanny feel. Okay, let me clean it up. That's about this is a small seal. Not much degrees. Okay. First the design and here's the seal. And to use a rubber pad. Because this is not rubber, this is stone. And you have to put the rubber under it, that's the reason. Okay. <coughs> 
and uh, I use ink paste. This is an old one. It's kind of dry, but I like to, to get a first one. It's, I don't need much ink. I want to see the story. A little some moisture will help to reduce the grain. Very old trick. Just press evenly and stay a little while, just shaking a little bit. And hold the paper to lift it. That's it. Okay, looks good. Let me get a piece of paper towel, clean it. You need to adjust a little bit. Um, many, you know, the space between the strokes, something like that, or thickness of the stroke. But uh, uh, we, we, yeah, we, we do have the, uh, uh, the freedom to to create some dense and sparse contrast on purpose, so uh, not like a completely even mechanical design. So as long as the whole seal is balanced, not, not nothing like jump jump out of the design, it should be fine. It's a little thing uh, on this side, but so I decided to repeat that. Uh, here, here's a designed uh, break, you know, the two strokes between the two strokes. This one is uh, it could be thicker, I think. This one could be thicker. the bottom also thicker That's it, I think. Let me make a the second pop uh, imprint with a, a fresh, a fresh ink, and uh, you can get this as a refill if your ink is uh, too dry. You can get a fresh one for to refill. It will last like a thirty years, maybe. Good investment to get a good one. Try this again on top. Just 
just make sure like orientation I haven't signed it so I to check. Okay, because the the nature of this seal, you want it to be solid, right? So you press a little harder. So it will make the line thinner that way. That's a yes, it looks thinner, thinner, right? If you don't press too hard it will be a little bit like granny here. Uh, the line would be uh, thicker. I, I like this delicate lines. I think it looks nice. I think it's more uh, round, round, you know, curvy than the design, but I like it. Well, we, we can make this uh, mountain part a little bit, um, a little bit found, <laughs> not a, lo a lot lost. Here. So just a tiny little, just a tiny little chi connection. So you not go our way, just going towards the. Just the uh, con connect connection point. Let me do. Let me, let me do my signature now. Before we continue, do the print. So <coughs> the orientation is uh, like that. My signature on the left. Okay, I just sign my name. The colors the signature. Now I know uh, which side is uh, up because uh, my signature on the left always oh, okay. Unless uh, I made a mistake, it could be <laughs> on the other side. Okay. I just remember which side is. Okay. One more. Lift carefully. You can see sometimes, sometimes it is, even the, the margin is um, thick, broader, thicker because uh, I wave it a little bit. You know, if you wave it, if you go straight down, it will be more like that. If you kind of wave it, because the uh, you got more print. Uh, let me see if I can just scrub a little bit off. I'll make the slope a little. Sticker, so that would be not too broad this time. If uh, you got some stroke, uh, like a blurred or um, with residual, <coughs> you can clean up with a, a tooth, old uh, toothbrush and this uh, gentle soap. You will not, uh, you know, um, destroy the stone with a detergent or anything, but, you know, just use a little degrease uh, 
like a dishwasher or anything, uh, dishwasher liquid, whatever, to clean it with a brush. If you, you, uh, you can use tissue to, to clean the seal up right after. Don't use paper towel because paper towel may send off this quickly <laughs> because uh, it's very delicate uh, seal, so you don't want to use paper towel to clean it. Just use use brush and uh, uh, soap uh, with warm wa water because the ink is oil based. Okay, okay. one more. That's a good one. <coughs> yeah, the amount of uh, ink. Um, so I normally just clean it, so I know how much I need next for the next imprint. I need make a official stamp in my album. Okay, here's the two seals I made for. Another student in my class, um, Sherman Forrest. Okay, uh, here we have the mountain lily. Oops, I, I got the wrong one. I want to use this first one. If this um, happens, you, know, you can use a stirrer to flatten the top and make it into a, a dome to start. When you, you get a new seal cut, it's flat, right? But soon, sooner or later, you need to do this to make it into a round dome, kind of. And then just clean that stir with a paper towel. Okay, maybe too much. I'll I'll press this. See what happens. And just straight down. No shaking, no waving. Yeah, that's a good one. So that very solid red without grains. That's nice. Okay, let's do some other imprint to go with the seal to the cut. Okay, I use card start to see what happens. Uh, it might because it's not absorbent, so I don't want to overload it. Just try. Oops. Slippery. Okay, that's still work. Let's see how sharp it is. So on on computer paper or st stock card stock, we, we can get a very different effect sometimes. Lift straight up. Yeah. And clean it first. Sometimes you know you got residual in it, you don't want to 
you can clean. It was oh, this is soft um, paper towel is made uh, made of cotton. So uh, I just like blotting it, not rub it to scratch it. You know. Okay, this is a very delicate seal. Just use tissue or facial tissue. Or, uh -huh. Oh, I got two layers. You know, the thickness of the paper may have, have to do with the final print. You see, if it's uh, harder, you will see narrow, um, not, uh, you know, broad, maybe different uh, thickness of the uh, stroke. Blur a little moisture from mouth will help to reduce the grain. Straight up here. Yeah. It's kind of hard to get a perfect. This one actually first is always the best. This one is the best. And I think it's very solid. And this one is all okay. Okay. Um, Mr. Chai, uh, Mr. Chai Guangxian ask, uh, what, uh, is, what's the cost? I charge 165 this year, um, but it will go up as my, uh, as, as I get older and older. So, um, if, uh, currently it's 165 for design and carving. I, I do several designs I can show you. For this one, I did other two. Um, see, this one is uh, uh, three characters without the common character seal. Um, I kind of like the, the contrast between the two. I mean, between um, dance and the sparse. Red and the, and the white. And uh, this one is a little equal, like I said, uh, try to keep all the space relatively equal, balanced, uh, different styles. But you know, this one looks for characters, but more um, formal. That's why we always add uh, the third character for, you know, the seal, seal off uh, someone. So. If you have the name like uh, Cai, Cai Guangxian, you will be Cai Guangxian Yi, four, four characters. I don't charge by characters like uh, some artists do, because for me, it's just uh, the same um, amount of work to design a good seal, whether it's uh, one character or four character or three characters. Um, thanks for the question and the uh, thank everybody for watching. If you like to order your own personalized name seal or mood seal, please contact me at blueheronarts.com or click on the uh, uh, button uh, of this uh, video. In the video description, I get the uh, order, order link. Have a good evening there. Bye bye. Thank uh, uh, Fong Wa for your commissioning. Hope you enjoy. Happy painting. Bye bye.